Hello, people of Survey. How are you? How you doing? So, welcome back to another <laughs> episode. So, the last one I did, people were laughing at me. This last story I told, yeah. But I'm glad that you guys were able to learn something. So, today I have another story, another hot gist for you guys. Um, folding clothes. Come and join me. So, this something this happened in like 2022. It's a personal story, too. 2022. So, one night I was at close from work. So, I said to join my colleague. It was a bit late. I said, let me wait for him. So I joined him. So he dropped me halfway and then I could go home. So I joined him and he dropped me at his bus stop. And then I had to enter another bus. Now, as I was about to enter the bus, I had a nudge in my spirit not to enter. But I was so tired. I said, I beg, I'm tired. I beg, I don't get that strength. I just enter the bus. The front seat was free and I liked sitting down in front. All this cold way. So I didn't take, I didn't observe my environment. So I entered the bus. After I entered the bus, we were not going. Go to a particular place, they picked some two other people and joined. I didn't even notice that I was the only lady in the bus. When they now got to another bus stop, another place that is very lonely, they now stopped. Two guys came down from the bus. As they came down, that's when I knew what was happening. I announced that I was the only girl in this bus. It was near a bush, and this is like nine. They came down and they pointed me a gun. And they said, um, Give me your bag. I said, Don't problem, is he bag? Take the bag. I said, take the bag, take it. I was so scared. I gave them the bag. I was saying, Lord, help me. And then after they took the bag, I had, I had my phone, my wallet, my ATM card, my wig. I pulled the wig, put it aside. They took it. Oh, yeah, come on, be going. And next thing, they pointed a gun and the, the guy shot. <laughs> Very traumatic. My life flashed before my eyes. The thing did not fire. As he shot, then the second guy, and I told him, Oh, guy, you know, Sabi, use this kind of gun. Come on, give me. I said, I'm shoot the next time. Driver and aspect of. So there are two things in this thing here. Is that driver was part of them and he saw that ah, this people want to kill this girl. Ah, conscience judge him. The Holy Spirit touched him. He moved. And then that's how he moved. I said, she drop me, drop me, drop me. As he dropped me. I said, he screaming and crying. I had some change in my pocket. And I entered another bus and got to my bus stop. Got to there. My friends please use her phone to call my, my husband, my, then my fiance there. And so why am I sharing this story? Something happened. The Holy Spirit spoke to me. He's always speaking to us as believers, but we don't hear. Sometimes people have accidents that could have been avoided or enter danger that could have been avoided, but they did not listen to the Holy Spirit. And I entered that bus, and it still saved me. So basically, and secondly, what I'm saying, sharing this story, when you enter all these buses, especially at night, be it a man or a woman, please be very watchful of your environment. It's, it's, it's good to be safety conscious. Since that day, if I want to enter a bus again, I they look so, guys, be very careful, okay? All right, that's the end of the story. I wanted to make it really short today and straight to the point, okay? So, I hope you learned something. Let me hear in the comment section what you learned.